How's it guys? So today I'm just going to show you how to create these diagonal um, connection plates between four diagonals that meet at the center. So you can have a look at these connections and I will show you how it works and how you can do these exact connections. So please stay tuned. Okay guys, so you will see I've already drawn in some columns with bases. You can have a look at some of my previous videos where I show you how to do this. But for this exercise, we're going to draw in our cross bracing. And then from there, we will then add in our connection. So we're going to go to structure. You click on beam. Then you can select the element that you want to, want to use. I'm going to use a 60 by 60 by 4 angle. Then just make sure it's on 3D snapping. It's a lot easier doing it in 3D, um, the diagonal bracing. So you just snap to the points that you want it, like this. So the reason I'm going to do two sets of bracing is because I want to show you two different types of connections uh, at the bracing. Um, center points. So now that I've drawn this, we can go and add in our connection. So we want to do a connection in the middle here. So we're going to go to structure again, then connection settings. We are going to go to the drop down here and say general bracing. Then we're going to look for four diagonals, middle gusset plate. We're going to add that one. And then we are going to have the gusset plate in the center and then we're going to say add and then we're going to say okay now we've added those now we're going to go to connection and before we actually add the connection i want to show you guys something if you just hover over this connection there's an information box that will pop up so you'll see here it says it's a four diagonal middle gusset plate so what that means is you're going to have to have four different elements. It clearly states that there, element one is a diagonal beam, two, three, four. There it says how you must select these diagonals. Then you'll see the profiles. That means what profile can work with this type of connection. An angle, a channel, and a flat section. Okay. Then if you go to the second one, gusset plate in center, You'll see here we only need three specific elements. So you're going to have all three of them is going to be a diagonal beam. Then you'll see here it says the first diagonal is continuous and the two others are joined at the center point. So you're going to have two angles that are not joined and one continuous angle. Okay, so the profiles that can be used for this is an angle, a channel, a flat, and a hollow section. So let's quickly do a connection. So before we can actually start by doing this connection, you will have to split these elements in the center because currently there's only two elements this side and two elements that side. So if you go to the layout, you can just draw yourself a section. So let me just delete that and show you how you can draw a section. You click on the section there at the top, just draw from left to right. There's your section, then we just go to the view. Now that we've done that, we need to split these sections or rather um, diagonal elements. So how I would do this is I would, for this one, just copy one of them, copy, paste, align to same place. Then what I'll do is I'll go to modify and I'll say here, uh, trim and extend. I'll click on this side and I wanna trim this side, click away. Click on that side and click this side. Now you can see I've split this element and I have one continuous element. I'm going to do the same on the other side, but just copy both of them. Copy, paste, align to same place. It's going to just tell us we have a duplicate element. Now we're going to do the modify again. Just click trim and extend. Click there. Click that one. Click here. Click that one. And then click here. This one. And that one. Now you can see these four elements. If we go to the 3D, you see 
that's a continuous member those are split elements and those are four individual elements you can see there okay so let's do the connection for the um, middle connection now for the one that has a continuous element and two divided elements so if we go to structure connection i'm going to choose gusset plate in center i'm going to click the diagonal continuous one click second click third and press enter and now it's going to tell us okay it's not generated so let's just click on make this one the primary one and then you'll see that your connection has been generated but now you can see that only those two elements are bolted but this element isn't bolted so we can go and edit that but let's quickly go here and say edit we go into the edit now if we zoom in here you can see this element and you can see how we are going to edit it so i will firstly start at the rectangular offsets so here you can say the projection if you make that 50 it basically makes your plate wider so you can do that then if you go to polygon offset you can choose the shape i choose your one edge corner looks something like this so that the plate is uh, basically like a it has one two three four five six sides usually how the plate looks and then the corner position i keep middle and if you go back to rectangular offsets if you make this zero i just want to show you this is how your plate is then displayed so it's up to you if you want to have a projection that's a bit wider you can do that so let's maybe make it 25 then connection at main so that's this connection here so you can choose if you want it to be welded or bolts so then you see your bolts will appear here so then you can select the diameter bolt and also the type of bolt i'm just going to leave it on the xo and you can choose your grade then you can just if you want to invert it you can put the bolts on the other side and the nuts on the opposite side all depends on what you want to see i'm going to leave it like that so the bolts on main is these bolts that we've just added in so if we make this a four you can see it increases a five etc so i'm just going to leave it on three then distance bolt gusset if you look at the two it's basically from that edge to your center of your bolt so if i make this um let's say 80 you can see how it increases the plate okay so keep it on 50 Oh, 45 if you want to change your intermediate distance to maybe 70 it also increases the distance and the plate okay and then you can also change the number across if i put it two you add in another row of bolts there but we don't need that we just say one let's change it back to one then bolts on gauge lines that is basically bolts um on the center so i just leave it as is and then if you go to welds i just leave that and the cover plate i also leave then if you just go back to the gusset plate here you can play around with the shape of this gusset plate but i like the plate as is the bolts these bolts are the bolts that were generated automatically so you'll see if i make this three it will increase the bolts down and if i make that one three increases the bolts upwards but if you add in a two year it will give you another set um, of bolts but we don't need two sets then we can go to bolt distance so you'll see here the bolt um, distances if i change that to 50 you can see it actually increases the diagonal bolt so what that means is from where your angle so if i just rotate it around from that angle edge you have 50 mils to the center of your bolt and once again intermediate distance is the, the, the dimension between the center of the bolts 
and then the distance bolt gusset that is the third dimension uh, that does not matter at this stage we can just leave it or you can if you want you can make it 50 it just increases that little portion from that center to the edge here then you can change this to center line it's going to just sit in the center of the angle or you can put it on the gauge line it's all up to you then bolt distance is two you can make it the same as the lower one or you can keep it as is i just change this to center line okay so that is basically how you can update this gusset plate um so if you want it to look the same you can just change that to 30 and that one to 60 and let's just see that one to 30 again so it just looks the same now we can say okay and okay and here you can see we've added in our connection okay so now just want to change that back so it just looks better so now we're going to do the second connection so we're going to go to connection four diagonals that means you need to select four elements so one two three and four enter just give it a moment it doesn't want to work just change just make one of the other ones a primary it's a little glitch that happens sometimes so now you can see we have this connection where all four of them are connected um, onto one plate. So you can also go and edit this plate. It's very similar to what I've already explained. You can always, this, this plate is fine by me, but obviously you need to check your designs and whatever is required. But for illustration purposes, this is what I would use. Um, so you can just play around with this just always remember to make it easy for yourself look at the numbers and the numbers on the on the illustrations here that is the dimensions that it's portraying so the plate thickness is one and then distance diagonal center point that's from the center point to there three four and five is the same so you can just work through that and see how all of this works play around with it what is great is like if you update anything here you'll see how it's updated in this little window here so that you know what you are updating so that is that connection so just go back and as easy as that we've created two connections for our cross bracing elements so guys thank you for watching and i do appreciate all your support please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you in the next video cheers guys